Green banners floated across the Brooklyn Bridge in New York as demonstrators against Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad held their latest protest. Organizers said the banners had been signed by tens of thousands of Iranians living outside of Iran. Protesters also congregated at the United Nations, across the street from where Ahmadinejad made his speech Wednesday at the opening of the UN's General Assembly meeting. In the speech, Ahmadinejad did not directly mention Iran's nuclear capability, which has been the topic of much conversation at the UN this week. Instead, the Iranian leader delivered his usual harsh rhetoric toward Israel, accusing it of inhumane policies in the Palestinian territories. He also seemed to brush off accusations that his re-election was a fraud. Our nation has successfully gone through a glorious and fully democratic election, opening a new chapter for our country in the march towards national progress and enhanced international interactions. They entrusted me once more with a large majority of this heavy responsibility. Several UN delegations walked out of Ahmadinejad's speech in a sign of protest. In his speech to the assembly on Thursday, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu delivered a sharp rebuttal to Iran's president and chided some of the delegates. Yesterday, the man who calls the Holocaust a lie spoke from this podium. To those who gave this Holocaust denier a hearing, I say on behalf of my people, the Jewish people, and decent people everywhere. Have you no shame? Have you no decency? The permanent members of the UN Security Council and other major powers have told Iran to prepare a serious response by October 1st to demands that it halt its nuclear program or risk further consequences. Manusha Marodi, Reuters, New York.